Hey everybody and welcome to Malt User Whiskey Reviews. I am Eric. Up on the bar for today, we have the Aaron Single Malt 10 Years Old Old Label and the Aaron 10 Years Old Single Malt New Label Fight. We will figure out which one of these uh, is better and if there's any difference between the two. But as always here on the channel, so no taste finish reviews are coming your way. I will tell you about their value, give you my final thoughts, final scores. Uh, and leave you with the malt music. But first, if you haven't, take a second, smash that subscribe button. Make sure you don't miss any of these reviews. They drop every Friday here on YouTube. I also have a Tuesday happy hour, 8 p.m. Eastern time. Would love to see you there. Okay, so let's get into this. Um, first and foremost, Aaron comes from Loch Ranza on the island of Aaron. Um, this bottling in particular, this is what most Aaron malts would look like to you in a store before 2019. Um, in 2019, they did a full-on rebranding of their whiskeys and introduced two new whiskeys into their core range, uh, including a 21-year-old. Um, aesthetically, I personally really think they did a good job with this. Um, oftentimes, when whiskey distilleries go through a uh, rebranding of uh, uh, their whiskeys, uh, it arouses suspicion amongst folks as to whether or not they have also changed the quality. If you look back, I did a Highland Park 12 uh, year old comparison video um, about a year or two back, uh, trying to examine the same thing. As for the Aaron 10, let's starting, uh, I'm going to get both of these in the glass and we're going to start by talking about this one. So you saw that the tubes were different. You will also see that the bottles are significantly different. This is the old one. This is the new one. I'm going to get these in the glass and we are going to get into this. Um, Aaron Distillery, I think, is one of the examples of a distillery that's rebrand has worked for the better. Personally, I find these new bottles uh, to look really, really nice. Um, one thing I do want to mention, they actually have added Braille onto these, both the tube and the bottle, which I think is really cool for accessibility. But anyways, um, in addition to that, the whiskeys itself uh, are presented relatively the same. They both bottles say non-chill filtered, both say natural color, uh, and both are bottled at 46%. These are predominantly ex-bourbon with a little bit of sherry in them as well. Um, and the Aaron 10 has been getting a lot of attention recently. So was the Aaron 10 always a really good whiskey? Or is it just because uh, of the rebrand that people started getting a second look at Aaron? Well, we're going to find out right now. Okay. So first things first, we are going to do a little color comparison. This is the old Aaron 10. This is the new Aaron 10. Holding them up together, I see a difference in color. The newer Aaron 10 here looks a bit darker. Maybe there's a bit more sherry in it. We're going to find out. Okay, starting off with the classic Aaron 10. I believe I got this bottle, and it's probably from around 2015. On the nose, fresh, sweet, and a little bit spicy. You're getting some of that honey, barley notes. It's really the sweetness here. Grassy, the slight herbal is giving it the spice. Little bits of fruit too. There's some apple. Maybe a little bit of pear. And I almost want to say like golden raisins. This smells a bit on the lighter side. I would also mention a little bit of citrus. It's a, uh, it's, it's light. It's fresh, quite nice. Okay, on to the newer Aaron 10, which again, we noticed a little bit darker in the color. And thankfully, since Aaron puts uh, the fact that these are natural color right on the bottle and on their tube, we know this is a natural product. No color added here. Here we go with the new Aaron 10 on the nose. Okay, very similar. bit darker notes. I'm getting more of a, a darker kind of caramel than vanilla, less citric. Fruits are a little juicier on the nose. It smells less fresh. It smells a little bit more cask influenced. Now, is this because of batch variation just between the two, which of course exists, y'all? Or did they reformulate this whiskey a little bit? Up the quality, we're gonna find out. 
all in all, a very nice nose, very similar to the other, again, a bit darker. Still getting that fresh apple, apple caramel, apple cinnamon. The grassy note, there's even a little hint of maybe like a, a tropical note in here, coconut maybe. It's a little bit different on the nose. Okay. Here's one more look at the color. This is the old one, this is the new one. You can see that is a non-trivial color difference. Okay. Older bottling of Aaron 10. Here we go. Really nice mouthfeel. Oily. That 46% and the non-shell filtration does wonders with this whiskey. Um, sweet. A little bit bready, biscuity maybe. Honey, yes. You get a little bit of a sharp citric spice note um, as it goes through the development here. And as it goes into the finish, honey, a little waxy, a little bit of apple, a little bit of pear, vanilla, medium long, and a slight tannic oak note. A very competent good whiskey, for sure. So when Aaron was flying under the radar a bit more, they were still making a nice product. Okay, put in the palette a bit. Now we are on to the new Aaron, 10 years old. Bought this bottle, I think 2021. So just, yeah, but midway through last year. Or, yeah, that. here we go. Different. Longer development, more cask driven. I think you're getting more of the bourbon cask, you're getting more of the sherry cask here. Vanilla, caramel, green apple, not as tannic on the back end. Um, there's almost like a stewed fruit, slightly orange quality to this. The citrus is there, but it's it's again much more subdued. This is this whiskey strikes me as older. Now, since we know they're both minimum ten years old, I don't imagine there's a huge age difference here. What I think we're looking at is, for the most part, um, some potentially more active casks here with the newer whiskey. Okay. But let's do a little bit of water. We're gonna do three drops of water on each. So maybe like about a half teaspoon just to let this open up a little bit. And uh, just to keep my palate honest, <clears throat> I'm, gonna, oh, I'm gonna start with the new Aaron with water. Okay, so back to the uh, the new branded bottle of Aaron 10. Okay, we're picking up more barley notes now, a bit more of that cereal grain. Again, really nice, sweet. A little fresher now with water, which makes a little bit of sense. Still picking up a nice sherry note. Green apple, maybe even a little hint of red fruit. I'm just rounding it off again as this Slightly tropical fruit note, maybe mango, coconut-ish, pina colada. It's just a little bit there. Here we go. Mm. That is good. Full oily, viscous mouthfeel. Fruit sweetness vanilla bourbon cask sweetness. Then you get the oak, dark chocolate coming in now. The water's bringing out the oakiness a bit more. A little bit more tannic on the uh, on the finish, but it's still a medium long finish, vanilla caramel. A little bit nutty, a little citric. Very nice. You're left with it, I mean, very creamy kind of ending on the mouthfeel, balancing that citrus and that oak. Okay. Back to 
the older branded urine pen. Here we go. Again, the major difference here, this is just a fresher, more spirity whiskey, not leaps and bounds different, but it's different. I'm not, I wouldn't go so far to say as we're looking at a first fill cask versus refill cask situation here. I just think this is some cask variation. And I think uh, the cask that they were clearly using on this, uh, on newer bottling, I think we're just more active, imparting more of their influence here. This is grassier, spiritier, um, still getting slight vanilla notes, but more lemon, more lime. And that kind of sourdough bread quality to it. Okay, here we go. It's good, but boy, spicier, edgier. Less of the sherry, more of the bourbon, more spice, a little bit more sharp, herbaceous, bordering alcohol note, uh, peppery. This is just a more spirit-driven uh, expression of Aaron 10 than this newer one. There's no doubt about it. Medium finish, hint of kind of a sour note. Hmm. A little bit of that green apple coming through, but I almost get a slight mint to it as well. Okay. All right, y'all, one more sip just to be sure. Here's the new one. Mm, in the old. Oh. Let's talk value. Wow. A bottle of Aaron 10, whether it's this one, or if you come across this one, you're looking in the US around 60, 55 to $65 may seem like a lot for a 10 year old whiskey, but I want to draw your attention to the very important part about these. You are getting a 46% year old uh, uh, ABV whiskey. It is non-show filtered and it is natural color. It says it right there. It says it on the bottle too. This is a quality uh, uh, product. So um, I think it's showing in the, in the flavor and the experience of enjoying it. So I, I would definitely put this at a medium high value despite the younger age. Okay, final thoughts. This was a lot of fun. And oftentimes uh, you find older expressions of, of certain single malt whiskeys tend to be the ones people want more. They're synonymous with having a bit more of a quality um, uh, to them as single malt scotch has got more popular, you find newer expressions, whether they're dropping age statements, they're using worse casks, they're just not quite what they used to be. Um, I am delighted to say that I think Aaron uh, has proven its, proven its bona fides by moving in a positive direction here. Um, as far as these two Aaron 10s are concerned, uh, I enjoy both of them, but in terms of what I think is a more quality experience, higher cask, uh, the cask quality, um, but still leaving room for some of its signature style. If you saw both of these on the shelf, I think there's no doubt that you go with the newer um, uh, expression of Aaron 10. Um, this is a four out of five whiskey for me. I think uh, the, the, the quality of the casks here is the major difference in what I can tell. Um, it is bringing forth a little bit more influence, but it's not drowning out that Aaron signature um, barley kind of cereal grain note that you pick up on these. Uh, it's really a fantastic whiskey, well-balanced. Four out of five on that one. The older version, um, again, a little bit younger, a little bit rougher around the edges. Um, still a really nice whiskey. I'm a 3.5 on this one. Um, I do think you get a bit more of the spirity nature of this, but that comes at the expense of, I think, a bit more sharpness, a bit more peppery note. Just not quite the fully matured experience um, that you get out of this newer 10. Um, both definitely live up to the age statement, but the, the new 10 is leaps and bounds, uh, I think better. So four out of five on the new one, three out of five on the old one. Does this mean that they changed the whiskey fundamentally? 
Can't say for sure. Um, what I think we can say is that there, the these two batches are definite differences. And my uh, my thinking on this is that the uh, the newer version has just higher quality casks, and uh, and that is bringing the difference here. We saw a little bit of that in the color. I think we saw that also uh, uh, in the difference in their profile. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this review. Um, hope you can get your hands on a bottle of Aaron 10. Either one you'll really enjoy. Um, but uh, with that, I will kick you on over to your malt musing. Let me know in the chat. Do you have opinions on Aaron 10? Have you tried both of these? Uh, do you agree with me? Do you disagree? Would love to hear. Leave a comment down below. And with that, I'll send you to your malt musing and I'll see you next time here on Malt Muser Whiskey Reviews. Salon show.